Hello Potters. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a jamun coil pot. Okay, so I'm starting here with about half a pound of clay and this is going to become my base. So right now what I have is a pretty flat pancake right here. I could go over this a little bit with my um, rolling pin. I'm going to cut this out just a little bit smaller. I could make a template out of paper first. I always just like the natural form of whatever I come up with. Not quite a circle, but pretty close. I'm gonna take these edges. There's my, the start. And as you can see, it's a little bit thicker because I um, want it to be sturdy for the coils. This is about a quarter of a pound. Always making sure my hands are wet. That's kind of like putting a little bit of lotion on them. And then I'm gonna take this and form it into what I call a Tootsie Roll, a bear. And now for my coil, I am stretching the clay by rocking it back and forth. And my hands will start to pull it outward. I don't want my coil to be too thick. I have learned in the past that they get really heavy if you have them too thick. And I'm going to make a few of these, so I'll be back. Alright, so it's really important when you make your coils that they're able to bend. If they're not bendy like this, that means the clay is too dry. Always make sure you're adding lots of water to your hands and working a little bit of that water into the clay. Make sure that you don't have any seams showing when you're uh, doing this. Also, an important thing is these ends get a little funky. Cut off that funky end. Now, when you're making your coils, if you hear this, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, that means your coil is oval shaped. What you wanna do is tap it, tap, 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 and do small little rocking until you get it so that it doesn't do the da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. okay so i now have three coils that look pretty good i'm going to add a little water to them just so that they don't dry out sitting here um, i'm going to just keep going with what i am doing Now, there is a seam inside of here. See the seam? There is a seam. I wanna make sure that it is attached really well so that doesn't come out. So I am going to make a tiny, tiny little coil. See that? Woo, nice, huh? If I go to the outside, it's gonna come outward. If I go to the inside, it's gonna come inward. So I am just gonna go in fast motion now and so I did score and slip all of this, but a lot of times if your coils are a little bit on the wetter side, more plastic, you don't have to score and slip if you do this smudging. But I like to do both just to make sure my base here is really strong. 
So I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna push down through those coils. And I am probably, I'm not good with a ruler, but I'm gonna say I'm about a 16th of an inch. And I'm smudging those together. So I have this one, this plastic one, and it works pretty good too. But I can take this and use this edge on it and come in here and smooth that together. Now, if I can see my little lines from my hatching out here, what I can do is I can take a pencil and hold it kind of at an angle and go through those. And that's gonna clean that right up. See that nice and um, well crafted. Okay, so next, is my jamin. For my jamin, I'm going to take my coil here and I'm going to figure out how much I need. All right, now for the jamin portion of this, I am going to have a top and a bottom that just helps to keep it well balanced and four different kinds of jamins. I'm going to do little pebbles. For little pebbles, I'm just rolling it between my hands like so. You don't want them too little and you don't want them too big. I'm going to do some spirals. So I want to make sure that these coils are not too big. And I'm just kind of starting it in between my hands. It's kind of like a worm. And I'm going to curl that around. And there's my first spiral. And I'm going to keep going with that. In order for it to turn out good, you really want to take your time with it. Now that I've created that pattern, to make a twist. I'm going to take a good sized chunk of clay again that I'm going to coil out. Okay, I made sure that I put quite a bit of water on this. I sprayed it as I went. I want this to be a pretty thin coil and I'm making it very long. I'm going to fold this coil in half and I'm going to take I'm going to take it like so and I'm going to start to twist this. Okay. Now, if I put this on here like this, there's going to be little cracks in it and it's pretty thick. So instead, what I want to do is I want to push down on this.
I have a whole bunch of empty spaces. And if I kept those <clears throat> empty spaces, my pot would not be able to hold water. And I want this to be a type of a vase, so I wanna make sure it can hold water. So I'm gonna take chunks of clay. So here's a big hunk of clay. I'm gonna take hunks of clay and I am going to just put it on top wherever those holes are, like so. So my next step is to smudge all of this together. And I'm gonna use that popsicle stick and I'm gonna smudge inward. All right, so there's one part. I'm gonna continue smudging all of this together. My four fingers and my thumb. And I'm just gonna go over it, smudging this together, kind of like frosting a cake. All right, so all smudged together. And drum roll, please. I'm gonna flip this up. Holy cows, check that out. Isn't that incredible? No more spaces, no more gaps. Just the beautiful diamond and coils. Wow. Okay, so now it's going to be picking this jamming up and attaching it onto the coil. So here we go, let's see. Again, I wanna push down and kind of wiggle the two together. There's a big seam line in here so I am going to just, got a little ball of clay here. I'm just gonna start taking chunks of clay as a band-aid and I'm covering that seam and rubbing it in. You could make a coil and rub into the seam too. I find that the little pieces of clay work really well for this. Okay, I feel like they attach pretty well. I got quite a bit of clay in there. Um, where the seam was, was right here. And I put clay into that seam and attached that really well. So it all has this kind of continuous pattern. And I'm just gonna look for any weak spots. Any weak spots that I might have in here, I'm gonna use that Band-Aid of clay and I'm gonna rub it in on the inside, making the inside nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? I like the pattern of the swirls with the lines and the little pebbles down here. I'm gonna keep going though. I'm gonna make this a little taller and um, I'll show you when I'm done. Make it feel a little bit more finished. So there is my piece, coil pot. So peace out. Thank you.